Yeah, what do you want? I was one of the best youth warriors in the Clan Ordo in my time. No one before me had mastered the power of our Basilisk war droids as quickly as I had. Except Mandalore himself, of course. In those days, we were sweeping across the Outer Rim, destroying all who fought us. Young Mandalores would prove themselves in real combat with unknown opponents above a thousand worlds. Each brought back stories of his achievements. <laughs> we would travel from world to world and descend on it in our basilisk war droids. I still remember my first combat. I remember it well, orbiting high above a placid world, its defenses just stirring. As was tradition, I would go ahead of the first wave to find enemies in the thickest fighting. I remember sitting there in my armor, linked directly with a basilisk thrumming beneath me, my heart racing with fear of the coming battle. Every new warrior has to fear to understand how to beat it. You must know that. The doors opened in front of me, and the air was sucked out of the drop bay, scattering crystals of frozen vapor across my path. I can't describe what it feels like to look directly down at a world, falling continuously as you circle it, with barely 15 centimeters of armor plate protecting you. When the magnetic locks disengaged on my droid, I plunged out of the drop bay towards the battle that waited below. The exhilaration, the euphoria I felt as I streaked into the atmosphere, dodging self-guided projectiles and beam weapons was unmatched. An 80-kilometer plunge through the atmosphere, dodging and weaving, the outside of my armor glowing like the sun with the heat of re-entry. And with barely 30 meters to spare, I twisted and skimmed the surface, firing at the giant beam generators that were in my path. The explosion from that sent shock waves that leveled the entire complex around it. It was the moment of my life. I'll never forget those times, but things are different now. We can't go on fighting the way we did. There are too few of us left now, but I really don't want to talk about this anymore. I trust I've satisfied your curiosity for now. Is there something else you want to know? Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. I must apologize for the way I acted towards you before, in the Grove. It was wrong of me. I am sorry for attacking you. I am sorry for thinking you would only try to kill me. I hope that by helping you in your task, I may redeem myself in your eyes, and in my own. Thank you. It is most reassuring to know that you can forgive me, even though I tried to take your life. I can only hope that, in our time journeying together, I will succeed. Yes, what's on your mind? Have I been quiet? Suppose I have. I guess I just don't like being left out of the loop. Left out of the loop, you know, not being told anything, strung along. It's really starting to irritate me. For one thing, I want to know what the Jedi Council said to you. They pulled you in there and refused to tell me a thing about it. I'm rather curious to know what went on, and why they didn't keep you on Dantooine for training. 
Isn't that strange? I may not know much about the Jedi, but I do know they aren't famous for taking on old Padawans and sending them on dangerous assignments. A bond? What kind of bond? You mean to say that they told you that you were tied to Bastila in some way? <laughs> I have trouble believing that. You're a neophyte Padawan who's been saddled with the responsibility of tracking down these star maps. Why? That's not normal. I am not trying to provoke you or to imply that you're somehow responsible for the Jedi Council, but give me a hand here. There has to be a reason. No, I don't... I didn't mean that you weren't wanted or that I want to go. It's just... Damn it. Well, I'll tell you this much. I'm not going to wait around until I'm betrayed again. Let's see about that, won't we? Look, I didn't mean it that way. I want to get to Saul, not... No, no, forget it. It just seems that all I can do is insult you, isn't it? Just forget I said anything. Let's, let's just get on with what we were doing. How can I help? It was less of a dream and more of a vision. A vision the two of us shared. But I am certainly willing to answer any questions the Jedi Council did not. Perhaps because we desired to. Perhaps because they came to this planet and were strong enough in the Force to leave a, a trace. They did something important here. Of that, I am certain. It may be simply that we are sensitive to that event, or it may not. We dreamed about Revan and Malak either because we were meant to or because we needed to. There is no other way to look at it. I have no idea. It was obviously important, however. That is why we must investigate this further. With luck, we will. I would rather not rely on such visions to guide us. But when we have so little else to go on, and the galaxy hangs in the balance... I have no idea. It was obviously important, however. That is why we must investigate this further. Are you wondering why we shared the vision? Or why we even received it in the first place? To the first, I can only repeat the answer that the Council gave us. Our fates are linked, and for two as strong as we are in the Force, that amounts to a near-physical bond. As to the second, I truly don't have an answer for you. The Force works as it will, and perhaps we should be grateful for what we've been given. I... I don't know. Believe me, I certainly don't find the prospect of being joined to you enjoyable in any fashion. Please, forgive me. I did not mean to imply that you were repulsive in any sense of the word. That we shared something so personal is just not something I'm used to. What would you like to know? As you wish. We really should return our thoughts to business anyway. How can I help? No, not bothering me. Not exactly. I've been thinking about what the Jedi Council said about the two of us. There is a bond between us. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. Please. I'm a Jedi. Such feelings, such attractions are... Well, they're beneath me, quite frankly. I admit, I find you intriguing. I, I, I mean, I find your command of the Force intriguing, but my interest in you is purely academic. Surely you can understand why. Our fates are strongly connected. So connected that a literal bond has been forged between us. I saw your service records when you were transferred aboard the Ender Spire, but nothing beyond that. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. Don't worry, these are simple questions. Nothing too intrusive. First, what kind of background do you have? I see you intend to be childish about this. I guess I won't get anywhere continuing our discussion right now, will I? I suppose I'll just have to speak to you again later. Hopefully you'll behave a little less like a little boy, and a little more like a... like a man. How can I help? I do. 
How did you know? You are easily the vainest, most arrogant man I have ever met. Besides, I know you can't be serious, since I was purposefully not staring in your direction. I am a Jedi, remember? I have far too much mental discipline to reveal what goes on inside my mind with such obvious physical clues. My thoughts remain hidden, including whatever my feelings are for you. I, I mean, whatever I feel... I mean, whatever I think about you. I... That is, you... Why must you be so impossibly infuriating? You know very well what I am really talking about. I am referring to the bond between us, the one the Jedi Council spoke of. Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's mind. We can feel some of what the other feels, and what I feel within you troubles me. A Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. The fact that you are so strong in the Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. For you, and for everyone around you. This is not a joke. The choices you make could affect both our destinies. Not to mention the fate of the Republic and the entire galaxy. There is much at stake. Thankfully, you've exhibited a degree of compassion and self-control up to this point. I sincerely hope you can maintain these traits in the future. We must all resist the influence of the dark side. It's everything we are fighting against. This is doubly important for you, with your natural affinity for the Force. I'm sorry if I come across as harsh, but I am concerned. For you, for our mission, and for myself as well. Our destinies are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well. I believe you truly mean what you say, for now. But sometimes it is not so easy to keep such promises. Your power could be a gift or a curse. When you need guidance or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. I only hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. But for now, we should return to our mission. How can I help? Then I suggest we... Yes, what's on your mind? Dantooine's a boring place. It's all plains and herders and small settlements. Perfect for the Jedi to lose themselves in, I guess. Well, that's all I can think of, at any rate. You got it. for you. I've been thinking about Lena and what she said about Griff. You know, how he was always blaming other people for his problems. There might be something to what she said. No, of course not. Not really. But what if, what if it was his idea to leave me behind? I'm not saying Griff would just abandon me, but maybe, maybe he did want to leave me behind. Just temporarily, you know? He might have done that if he planned on coming back later. But things don't usually work out for Griff the way he planned, you know? And that's when he'd get in trouble. He was always borrowing money he could never pay back. He might have been trying to skip out on his debts when he left Harris. He would have to leave his little sister behind so it would look like he was coming back. Yeah, well, no, not exactly. Look, all I'm trying to say is that the more I think back, the more I realize I might be idolizing my brother a bit, not seeing all his faults. I still want to find him. I need to see him again. It's just that I'm not sure how I'll react when I do. Maybe. We'll see. I don't... I don't want to judge him yet. Maybe Lena was lying. Or maybe... Maybe she... wasn't. All I know is I'd like to speak to Griff myself. If we have time, I'd like to go talk to the Zerker Corp rep on Tatooine and see what he has to say about where my brother is now. Wow. 
How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like to speak to me about? How I came to be a Jedi? I am sure you would not find it very interesting. Are you sure you would like to hear? Well, it goes back a number of years. Back on my homeworld, we did not see Jedi very often, especially where I lived. It was not the homeworld of the Cathar that I lived on. My parents had long fled from that place. And perhaps that is a story for another time. Rather, it was a human hive world that I was raised on. The hind end of space. A pit of a world, to be sure, where Jedi rarely tread. But we had heard of them. Well, everyone had. So that is not to be unexpected. Champions of truth. Defenders of justice. Heroes of the Republic. It was very easy for a child to be enthralled by their image, their mystique. Maybe I was one of those children. Yes, yes I did. When I saw a Jedi for the first time, they lived up to everything my imagination had created them to be. I was old, and maybe a little enamored. They were quite striking, especially the tales of their leader. From that moment on, I knew that I would have to try to become a Jedi. To lift myself out of the rut I had been living in for years, and to make a real difference as the Jedi were. <laughs> the foolish delusions of a child. But this child made it happen. As soon as I was able, I left my world and went in search of them. I found them and was accepted. I had been living my dream on Dantooine for several years before you came. Although, perhaps I was not entirely ready for it. Or not completely suited to the task. Otherwise, I would not have fallen. But thanks to you, I have been redeemed. Perhaps I may yet live to see that dream of mine come true. Come, there is much we should do. Let us not waste time talking. Action is what is needed. Thank you.
Lord Malak, the Star Forge is operating at 200% capacity, far beyond our expectations. I am more interested in the young Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. Have you learned how she escaped the destruction of Taris? She was aided by Karth Onasi, a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes, Lord Malak. He served under me when I still followed the Republic. You could say I was his mentor. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? An eyewitness, Lord Malak. Kalo Nord, a bounty hunter, was there when Bastila and Karth escaped the planet. Apparently, they left him for dead. A Jedi and a war hero. It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord Malak. Kalo has agreed to help us capture the young Bastila for a very hefty fee, of course. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well earned. Her companions are nothing to me, Kalo. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive, if at all possible. Lord Malak, forgive me, there is something else. May we have a private audience away from the ears of the common soldiers? I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Karath. I promise you will be very interested in what Kalo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malak. given us a, a vision, like the one we shared on Dantooine. Did you see it? Of course. You must have. The Force is strong with us both. Tatooine is known for little but blowing sand. I find it surprising that there would be a star map somewhere in its desolate wastes. A star map would likely have to be within some kind of shelter to protect it against dust and sandstorms. I suspect there are many such caves and caverns hidden in the sands of the Dune Sea. The creatures of this world probably use them as their lairs. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. So happens I've got one here I've been working on. Here you go. I'll just add it to our inventory. No problem. Just so happens I've got one here I've been working on. Here you go. I'll just add it to our inventory. Anything else you No problem. Just so happens I've got one here I've been working on. Here you go. 
I'll just add it to our inventory. Anything else you I always heard Tatooine was nothing but a rock covered by a bunch of worthless sand. I can't even figure out why Zerka Corp set up their mining operations here. Sorry I can't be more help, you know. Is there anything else I can do for you? All I know is I'd like to speak to Griff myself. If we have time, I'd like to go talk to the Zerka Corp rep on Tatooine and see what he has to say about where my brother is now. Didn't work. Bona Nakichu. 
Selima wanga kun bikin. Mucha shaka paga. Mucha shaka paga. Mucha shaka paga. Mucha shaka paga. Tonki ba non tontek. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Selima wanga kun bikin. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Tong ki ba non tontek. Tong abuk shami no nok. Tong abuk shami no nok. Tong ki ba non tontek. Selima wanga kun bikin. Tong abuk shami no nok. Mucha shaka paga. Tong abuk shami no nok. Tonki ba non tontek. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Mucha shaka paga. Mucha shaka paga. Tong abuk shami no nok. Mucha shaka paga. Selima wanga kun bikin. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Tonki ba non tontek. Tonki ba non tontek. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Tong abuk shami no nok. Mucha shaka paga. Selima wanga kun bikin. Tong ki ba non tontek. Mucha shaka paga. Tong ki ba non tontek. Tong ki ba non tontek. Mucha shaka paga. Tong abuk shami no nok.
Mucho shock a punk. Mucho shock. Tong abuk shami no no. I did. I wanted to speak to you about our mission and what lies ahead for us. It seems fate, or the Force, is driving us into a confrontation with the Dark Lord. You must prepare yourself for when we face Malak. The confrontation will be difficult for you. I remember how hard it was when I first faced Revan. It's true that due to my battle meditation, I was with the Jedi Strike team that boarded Revan's ship. We did not kill Revan, however. Our mission was to capture Revan if possible. It was Malak who turned on his own master, firing upon Revan's ship while we were still on board it. It was his desire to kill us and his master both. Thankfully, we narrowly escaped the vessel as it exploded. As I said, we were there to capture Revan alive. The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. Remember that Revan and Malak were once great Jedi, heroes in every sense of the word. They demonstrate the danger of the dark side to us all. I'm sorry, we really shouldn't speak of this anymore. The memory of my confrontation with Revan is painful. Let's return to the mission, please. Kukulo no ba muli raji kun tong hit kun chunching ne boboje mata de punage dulpi kikuana chi gratu lo da bograshi oni un kompa chin tomo mochuba lo da ni ta kun ita patiso batua kacha tu tong bograsha kun ti cha ka um chuba kaha chapa chawa chwish yunku. Jodo jid bunga rantan. Ka chi kun ida hao donga. I king kuno ba mule ra chi kun. Slimo po dona rundi hao donga ku hunka be. Jedo ba doana ni di bobo. Dong na bung sha nu nunya. Dong ba tukash mak talea. Chan shak bulara, umrao chis kaduchi, on chuba nijish ka yanki, titoke gratun kun chicha kun king kacha chonopra, bogra walano dumba cha, nechi chuna chuba ching lorda ita kun. Runda di hotonga kun honka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tong king ba nunotek tuk nin chatu kun ne mule rabes. Achuta, wonga kun bez dolpi kikuyana tong patugas maktelea. Runda di hotonga kun honka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tong king ba nunotek Tuk nin cha tu kun ne mule rabes. Mucha shaka panga. Tolpa da pangwale gandun nangugu chut chut. 
Cava dum cu pilio botenia. Bona nai cuchu. Hawaga posca chocola. Mucha shag panca. Tipuna. Bona na kichu. Takum jus dach miki grabal mogo. Kachi ita hodunga. Tong abuk shami no nok. Tong ki ba non tontek. Selima wanga kun bikin. Tong hait wam chichi jum lumpa. Dita poe tikitu. Dolpa da pongualeo gandona chuchut. Kachi chu ita dundoga. Yumalita kuto tun. Chila mulane ni dupopo. Wonga kumbis jang ba mulera. Welcome to Anchorhead, potential customer. Zerka Corporation stands ready to serve. After some formalities, of course. First, your ship is not on our list of planned arrivals for today. There is a docking fee of 100 credits because of this. That would be unfortunate. Zerka Corporation can't afford to extend credit. Everyone pays. That's the rule. I assure you that the fee is non-negotiable. We have a very thin margin of profit on this world. That does make sense. I suppose I could let it go this time. We need the business. This will cover any future landings as well. It's like a registration so we can serve you better when you return. Now, as a customs officer, I can provide information on services. 
Is this visit business or pleasure? There isn't much to tell. It's a very old planet, well past its prime. Zerka Corporation is the only company with any interest in it. It's not a very pretty world, but there is opportunity here if you know where to look. I can't really get into that. It hasn't been a very smooth operation. I shouldn't get into it. I... I can tell you more, I guess. It's not a big secret or anything. Just not good for business. You see, Zerka Corporation staked their claim to this planet based on some very promising geological surveys. Unfortunately, that information was incorrect. And possibly even a, an attempt at sabotage by a rival company. Not totally barren. There were a few good years of mining. And limited operations are still in place. But the ore is flawed. It has peculiar properties. They've had to look at other forms of business. Zerka Corporation has really tried to hide this, but it just seems that Tatooine metal is unfit for effective manufacturing. I would imagine that this outpost will eventually be abandoned. Nobody is making any money here. Of course, this rock may have been settled a few times, so... Look for some other company to get stuck with it. Pursuits that uh, appeal to the casual traveler. There are some fearsome native species that provide exciting hunting. There are also lengthy barren wastes that serve as fine soup tracks. Attracting business has been slow, however. It depends on what level of risk you want to take. You could ask at the Zerka office if any bounties need collecting. That's in the central anchor head. While you're at the office, ask for a hunting license so you can sell trophies to Faza in his lodge, just north of them. I suppose you could also take up swoop racing. Talk to the hut at the registration office by the track. That's in West Anchorhead. I can't say I know which of these jobs is the most dangerous. I stay away from all of them. That's not much information. Could you tell me more? You a digger? I've heard of ruins being found now and then, but they've always been stripped by sand people soon after. You're not going to get anywhere with them. I guess you could ask around, but I doubt you'll learn anything different. You could always ask a Jawa. It's hard to tell what they know. It depends on what level of risk you want to take. You could ask at the Zerka office if any bounties need collecting. That's in the central anchor head. While you're at the office, ask for a hunting license so you can sell trophies to Faza in his lodge, just north of them. I suppose you could also take up swoop racing. Talk to the hut at the registration office by the track. That's in West Anchorhead. I can't say I know which of these jobs is the most dangerous. I stay away from all of them. As you wish. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Uchua Penki, Tongi Tuamaji, Human Ak in Ikatune, Chi Ita Kanki, Chana Kilikon, Chiwa Eta Kanki, Baba Hassan Shan, Noba Muli Rati Lai Kunka, Ki Muli Ra Kunki, Tongi Tuama Ak Ikotune, Achua Penki, Yun Patisa. Chubaji Kutka Naga, Kingu Mua Muli Radwana, Kimba Nicha Lora Kun Ki Muli Ra Kun King Chiwa Eta Kan Ki Cha Na Chupur Nibo Kun Muli Ra Slimo Poiwanga, Tongi Tuamaji, Human Ak in Kikatune, Baba Hassan Shan, Noba Muli Rati Lai Kuka. 
Chi <laughs> Racer? Crazy fool. You never know what the Sith will do. Look at Terrace. Was there any reason? <laughs> Please, will you help me? I have nothing, nothing left. Oh, thank you. I don't have anywhere else to turn. If you're down and out on Tatooine, you're on your own. My husband was a hunter, killed out on the dunes. This raid plate is all I have left. Please, will you buy it? I don't need a handout. I just can't sell it to Faza without a license. Please, I'm worried about having it. It's so rare. It's the bone plate from the head of the desert raid. My husband was so proud when he found it. He had just started hunting. He said he felt sure the next hunt would bring in more, so we waited to sell this one. Then he never came back. Will you help after? I'll try to answer what I can. We spent everything on my husband's hunting gear. We hoped that the sport would support us. We hoped. Whoever killed him took everything. All I have left is this desert raid plate. We thought we were so lucky when he brought it home. If I could sell it, the kids and I could get out of here. Maybe buy passage to Coruscant? I don't know. Will you buy it? I can't sell it myself. They are worth more than 500 credits. You will? Oh, thank you so much. Please, I know it's worth at least 500 credits. Oh, thank you. I hope it is enough. You've been a great help. I appreciate it. My children will too. Wow. Sometimes helping people feels pretty good, you know? Thank you for helping this woman. It may not seem like such a great thing to you, but you are making a difference. For whatever it means, may the Force be with you. You saved us.
Get lost, Tenderfoot. I hunt Desert Raid. I don't babysit. Well, you sure know how to get on my good side. You're just trotting out Bantha Pats, but thanks all the same. My name is Doric Quinn. I'm a hunter. I hunt. Is that enough, or should I start listing my family birthdays? I've tracked wild beasts my whole life, but I've only been hunting here for five years. I have much to learn yet. There are hunters that go after the big kills, the crate dragons. I don't know how they do it. I never even see the things. Comad is the one I respect, but I also trust that the only difference between us is experience. I will learn. I don't go telling stories about other people. You want to know what they think? You go talk to them. Uh, one word, though. Watch yourself around the Gamorreans. Girk and his buddies aren't to be trusted. Everyone else I respect because they have skill. Those guys, they go for easier prey. Just watch your back when you hunt. The dragons aren't the only dangers out there. If that's what you want, I'm not sure what you hope to get out of me, though. You'll have to ask around. Comad Fortuna is a much more experienced hunter than I am. He hunt. The local Jawas are a good source of information, even if it is hard to understand them. It may cost you, though. Good hunting. <laughs> something. I suppose one of us should get it. Ask away. Hunting is a dirty and tough business. What can old Tannis tell you about it? There isn't any. Too many hunters, not enough prey. I can barely keep expenses covered. Maintenance on battle droids is expensive. Of course, it's better than going alone. What if I stumbled on a bunch of sand people? These solo hunters are crazy. What do I care? I need to eat. I also need to pay for parts so the wife can keep the droids running. It's all about the credits. Some guys will talk about honor and stuff, but they still sell their plates to Faza. I guess honor needs creds too. I suppose, but so what? When that resource goes belly up, I'll just move on. 
I'm just a wandering spirit, I guess. I'm not real popular with the others, but they just fool themselves. They're in it for the credits, too. Too long, but it beats smuggling. You ever run into a Sith Dreadnought in the desert? No, you haven't. Hell, I married her. <laughs> no, no, seriously, now. I had this friend that crossed Sith space and got stripped of everything. It's not like I have much now, I guess. But I still prefer sand people to getting ambushed on unproven trade routes. Ah, she doesn't understand me. You know the drill. It's not my fault. She knew who I was when she married me. Fine, fine. Who knows the planet? I don't know. I guess the sand people. I'm usually running when I see them, though. Smart traders. They've salvaged and sold me my own damaged droids once or twice. They don't see much I can understand. I think they're a little slow, but who am I to judge, huh? <laughs> uh, sure. My blood. They almost got me last year. Tore up two of my battle droids. Wife was mad about that. <laughs> Took her weeks to fix. Where they got weapons to cut battle armor, I don't know. They act like animals, but they can surprise you. I don't know. They could do and walk. They'll get you soon enough. Smart traders. They've salvaged. They don't see. Good, huh? ラボダーニウンキスマトマ。ワナコンベスチンパーマルリラ。トッチンバンノンケット。トッチンバンノンケット。ラボダーニウンキスマトマ。ワナコンベスチンパーマルリラ。ジャムリララベスウバパトコジトンノンボンジャンヌンジャントンカトクスマクデリアクヤビジュスクナジテナイイナクンバマルリララチクンスリモパトナウンディハドンガチホンカビラボダーニウンキスマトマワナコンベ
Griff? Uh, there's no Griff here. Never heard of him. No, I, I don't remember a single Griff on the Zerka Corporation payroll. Can you spare me a few moments? I have something I want to get off my chest. I want to tell you about one of our workers. His name was Griff. We hired that Twi'lek some time ago. Not a good worker, according to his crew chief. Always complaining and faking injuries to get out of work. He entered false timesheets and slept through his shifts. We even suspected him of stealing Zerka Corporation supplies, although we could never prove it. We would have fired him, but we needed workers. It would have been better for him if he had been fired. Then the Sand People wouldn't have gotten him. He was lost in a Sand People raid we suffered not too long ago. There were prisoners taken, but our rescue parties never found anyone alive. In the end, it just wasn't cost-effective to keep searching. All miners sign a waiver absolving Zerka Corporation of liability in these circumstances. Zerka Corporation cares deeply for all of its employees. That's why we've started a bounty program to thin the Sand People numbers. We didn't find his body, so we have to assume he was taken prisoner. Whether he's still alive, I couldn't say. That's all I can tell you. I shouldn't even have said this much. This is all privileged corporate information. I could lose my job. As I said, all employees have signed waivers absolving Zerka Corporation of any financial liability if this occurs. It is the industry standard. I suppose you could apply for a special dispensation from the Zerka Corporation representative kiosk on Coruscant. Business hours only, please. Very well, though I do have work to get back to. As I said, we are no longer selling them. There are too many people cavorting about outside the walls as it is. We use them to ensure that only people judged fit by Zerka Corporation are allowed outside the city. We don't allow casual exploration because of legal concerns. Zerka Corporation takes no responsibility for loss of life on the dunes. It's just so we can keep track of people. No one leaves the city without a Zerka hunting license. With the downturn in mining, people want any chance at credits they can get. Most wouldn't survive a day, let alone qualify as hunters. The last license issued before the ban was given to a woman named Marlena Venn. She'll do fine. She had a mean streak a parsec wide. She also paid double. Exceptions like this are rare, unless it suits the company to offer them. Well, normally we charge 200 credits, but I could make an exception if you agreed to perform a task for us. It's similar to hunting. The sand people are becoming a problem. They destroy our sand crawlers and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. Bring me their gaffy sticks as proof. If you agree to do this, I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick later. I'll give a bonus for the chieftains. Which would you rather have dumped on your office floor? Besides, they're ceremonial weapons, unique to each warrior. It's just as good. Excellent. Now, just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Zerka Corporation takes this very seriously. Here's your license, and a few directions. We believe one of their enclaves is in the far south of the Dune Sea. You might try following one of our sand crawlers. They're regularly attacked. I wouldn't mind you escorting them. Very well, though I do have work to get back to. Of course. Zerka Corporation records are available at our representative kiosk on Coruscant. Business hours, please. For your needs here, we maintain a fully stocked storehouse. Speak with Greta Holda about any purchases. Certainly. Please pose your questions to the representative kiosk on Coruscant. Business hours, please. Of course. I could just tell you now. No sense in being so secretive. It's all fairly obvious. Mining operations here have not been a success. The ore is substandard, and there's less of it than surveys indicated. With the Sand People raids on top of it all, it's no wonder this planet has been abandoned before. No one knows. There are odd energy fluctuations on this planet, but they defy analysis or explanation. But the effect is obvious. Ore taken from Tatooine is useless for construction. It degrades incredibly fast. Word is getting out about it, too. We're running out of buyers. Zerka Corporation is not doing well here. The company would be foolish to stay. It will be costly, but in the end, leaving will be cheaper than staying. I imagine all the heavy equipment will be abandoned. It's not worth shipping out things like sand crawlers. Maybe the Jawas will find a use for them when we're gone. <laughs> That's a laugh. We can't ignore evidence that Anchorhead was settled more than once before, and abandoned each time. There's probably a century between each attempt. 
just long enough for records about why it failed to disappear. The Jawas scavenge ancient tech all the time. It's a remote world. Who knows what's here? Farewell. Zerka Corporation welcomes your future inquiries. Greetings again. Yes, we don't have any new information on the subject, and I would remind you that you did agree to do this task for Zerka Corporation. We ex Farewell. ラボダーニウェンキスマトマ。ワナコンベスチンパーマルリラ。トッチンバンノンケット。トッニンジャムリラーラベス。クヤビジュスクナチテナイ。イナクンバーマルリラ。トッチンバンノンケット。トッニン
Well, all right. I'm not sure what I could say to interest you. I just work on the crawlers. I repaired the sand crawlers when they returned from the mines. They get pretty banged up, even without the attacks. Have you? Not many hunters have tried in the past. Good luck to you is all I can say. The sand people are vicious. I see the damage on the crawlers when they come back. If they come back. I have no idea. I don't go out on the desert if I can help it. I'm sure the sand people will find you if you walk far enough. Well, it's a hole in the galaxy as far as I'm concerned. I doubt this outpost will last much longer. But that's happened before and will happen again. Anchorhead has been resettled a few times now. No one is. I guess it looked like a promising mining planet, but the metal, I tell you, just isn't right. I've been a mechanic my whole life. I've never seen anything corrode as fast as Tatooine metal. It's why whoever was here before left. It's why Zerka will leave. And why whoever comes next will leave. I repair the sand crawlers when they return from the mines. They get pretty banged up, even without the attacks. All right then, back to work, I guess.
Go on, leave me alone. I've got stuff to worry about. Racer stuff. Nothing you'd understand. Don't mean to be rude, but it's kind of secret. Ha! Sure. Race your bike out of that explosion. Everyone knows that the whole planet is gone. Nobody got out. I'm not in the mood for jokes, thanks. I've got things to think about. You wouldn't know anything about it. Deal with that hut Mata and you will understand. Until then, I just don't want to talk about it. Nico's the big favorite around here. Tangabun shan om nong. Wanga kun bis kin ba mula ra. Choni yun tun jiji ida duana. Kava vulpa muji gumana. China pala mula. Tong ki ba non tontek. Tun ni cha chon kun ne mule brabast. Mucha shakapaka. Ye ki kun no ba mula dra ki chi chon. Kakin cha na kwat na bon kon wana kumbes chi pala mulek tong ki pa na nonek tu nik ton chu chun ki nemolek ra best uf mala ni bokurk tong a bok sha um na nong kin kun shin shin kin ni kin kun na bule mule raji kun chuni yun ni chi chi alduana kava volta muli kumana Kakin cha na kwat na bon kon wana kumbes chi pala mulek tong ki pa na nonek tu nik ton chu chun ki nemolek ra best uf mala ni bokurk tanga bok sha um na nong kin kun shin shin kin nikin kun na bule mule raji kun chuni yun ni chi chi alduana Kava volpa muli kumana, kakin cha na kwat na bon kon, wana kumbes, chi pala mulek, tong ki pa na nonek, tu nik ton chu chun ki nemolek ra best, uf mala ni bokurk. Mucha shakapaka, ye ki kon no ba mula dra ki chi chon. China pala mule, tong ki ba non tontek, tu ni cha chon kun ne mule ra best. Tanga bok sha um na nong kin kun shin shin kin ni kin kun na bule mule raji kun chuni yun ni ji ji alduana kava volpa muli kumana kakin cha na kwat na bon kon wana kumbes chi pala mulek tong ki pa na nonek tu nik ton chu chun ki nemolek ra best uf mala ni bokurk Mucha shakapaka, ye ki kun no ba mula dra ki chi chon. 
mucho shaka paka yiki kun no ba china pala mule tong ki ba non tontek tun ni cha chon kun ne mule brabast My friend tells the truth. I am a Jedi. Are you going to imply that I am lying as well? Nobody here can compare with the racers who rode against on Terrace. You'll wipe every record from the books this backwater track. Like you have something special. What do you want help with? Wanna come this? Chimpa yamuri, kunun kabi. 
another racer then? I heard someone new was talking to Mata. Always room for more, I guess. Don't know how much longer I'll be around here, but maybe we'll have time for a few races. Did you? I'm not sure that's any of your business. Top racers keep to their own. I don't know you. Maybe if you were better on the track, I might feel like talking about it. Someone who can turn out the fast times might understand. If there's anything around, it'll be at the Zerka store in their office in the center of town. Stock is scarce on this rock. Mata has some basic incentives for good times, which you probably know, but this is just an amateur track. The pro circuit is where the real credits are, but even that is hurting. I guess a lot of riders were on Terrace. Just a few years. I used to run down in the canyons, but nobody sees you down there. I wanted crowds. I've been told I am. I might go pro. I'm looking at some contracts, but that's between me and Mata. Hurry it up, all right? Sorry, I've been here a few... All right. Chiwi, I thought... Chiwaka, Chiwi. Chiwaka, I thought, Baba. Chiwaka, I thought, Chiwi, I thought, Baba. was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terrace alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you.
do for you. It's been a while since I've had anyone bother talking to me. I saw you down near the track, didn't I? Or, or, or was that someone else? I've been distracted by what happened on Paris. Sure, not a problem. Might as well try to pass along some of what I know. <laughs> My racing days are pretty much done. Mask me again in a few years and it'll be me. <laughs> I'm probably not going to. Yeah, but for now, for now, I, I, I don't know any more than the next guy. But, but you should try the locals. Chow is maybe funny little guy. Ah, something I know. Well, well. I don't. I don't. Really, I don't. Best place. You get hung up on any one track, and and he'll end up like me. <laughs> My favorite stop was Paris. Paris. Always look forward to going back. Now, now I don't want to touch my bike at all. Uh, maybe, maybe I wasn't in the winter circle lately, but I still race for sport, you know. A woman. I never won on Paris, but it was always my first stop on the circuit, and blast if I could help it. That doesn't matter now. You can't ask for more certain closure than the whole planet being gone. Poof, boom, gone. Oh well, past my prime by any measure. I started late too. Not like the kids out there now. Some of them are too young. It's a cutthroat business. I, I, I've seen some of them burn out after a year. They get dangerous and don't live long. That's not everyone, of course, but, but it happens. I'm a has-been, I'll admit, but, but dying while you're on top is still dying. I'll pass. All right. Uh, keep safe! Well, fresh face for the game. I wonder, would you care to play? My name is Furco Nellis. My vice is Bazak. Ah, I'm sure you do, but I won't have answers. I leave other people to their business, and they leave me to mine. Really, you'll have to seek information elsewhere, but if you want some recreation, I've cards ready to play. Must I? An opinion would draw attention to myself. The Sith have shown what happens to things that draw their attention. <laughs> Very good. Would you care to wager on a game? Well, since you have never beaten me, we'll make this for a paltry 50 credits. No bargaining now. This is serious. To be fair, I'll use my practice deck as well. I don't want to scare you off, you understand. All right. But remember that there isn't much fun on Tatooine that isn't life-threatening. Come back if you like a game. Zerka Corporation should just close this. Something you want, Spacer? 
Go talk to the office if you want to complain about conditions here. I don't want to hear it, you swoop racers. Do you even know what it takes to run an outpost like this? As long as there's flat ground, what do you care? I don't really have any interest in helping you. Will this be quick? Like I said before, I don't much care what you think. I'll be on the street if business keeps dropping, and it will. All right then, make it quick. Nobody we brought, that's for sure. Our expert said this rock was supposed to have mining potential to last for years. Nothing but garbage or good for nothing. You ever try to sell someone garbage? My name's Mud in three systems now. Like I said before, I don't much care what you th All right then. Good. I have a lack of business to attend to. Huh? Who are you then? Only new people that come to Junix Nard's Cantina are long-time losers and bounty hunters. I don't have to tell you why the two don't mix well. Please keep any blaster fire to a minimum. Zerka Corporation only worries about keeping their own stores full. I don't have much on hand. You again. I suppose you're fishing for a reaction to the destruction of Taurus. That's all anyone from Offworld is talking about. Well, I'll tell you, it's about time someone kicked the Republic in the tail and got things moving. I guess the Sith are the ones that do it. Don't get me wrong, all those deaths were horrible. If war gets the money moving, maybe they'll decide to fortify us out of here. No. Just no. I don't look for trouble. You'll have to talk to people yourself if you want more than that. Well, uh, if you don't mind... All right, then. What, did some Zerka promoter tell you to come to this planet? I pity you if you were expecting a prosperous mining outpost. Nothing here but sand and more sand. There's a little hunting and racing, but nothing that'll make a small man rich. I don't deal with any of that. Mata the Hut has a lock on everything race-related on Tatooine. You deal with him, or well, you don't race. Yeah, yeah. Greeting. Hello to you, prospective purchaser. I am referred to as HK47, a fully functional query. Would you be so kind as to purchase this model from Yukalaka? It would serve my purposes to be removed from his ownership. Refusal. It is not desirable for me to reveal core functions while still in the possession of Yukalaka, prospective purchaser. It is sufficient to say that I am a fully capable translator and cultural analyst, and I am also proficient in personal combat. Explanation. I have been recently fitted with a restraining bolt, if you must know. With it in place, access to much of my memory core is restricted. Not to mention that the fool Ithorian might raise his asking price if he knew more, or make inquiries into my history. Neither outcome is beneficial to me. Assurance. I am fully autonomous, but lack resources. I will grant loyal service in exchange for proper maintenance. As well, it is rare that I am able to utilize my full array of abilities. You seem likely to give me the opportunity to do so. 
explanation. It is rare for a droid to resist an owner in this way. Doubtless the Athorian considers my stubbornness an embellishment to add interest to a seemingly mundane protocol droid. Statement. The fool Athorian has decided I am to be an expensive purchase. He does this out of greed and not out of knowledge of my true capabilities. Advisement. I have observed him. He is a coward and will be responsive to aggressive bargaining. Statement. I wish only to be purchased and away from ill treatment at the hands of this poorly skilled mechanic. I have no desire to be subtle. Qualification. Oh, of course I shall be quite pleasant to you should you purchase me, please. And if the unit proves even more uncooperative once we purchase it...
Neptunum warna bola. Jika you now, jika sekarang di toki ini, jika you are not a bobo, tunggu nanggung yang muci titulaki jika aku. Lagul. Rundi hau tunga tunggim banang kongkik. Wat lagula na rinkis m- Rundi hau tunga tungkin ba ng kongkik Lagula na rinkis Rundi hau tung- Rundi lagula na rinkis Rundi hau tunga tungkin ba ng kongkik La bola na rinki es una toma Chiwi, ay taka Chiwa, ay taka Baba Hassan Shani Kakin cha na wabakaon Chiwi Bab Rundi hau Lago Lago la nawe Rundi hau tong gato Rundi hau tong gato Ta chuba yo kula la bola na rinki es una toma I suppose you've got a right to know track business, but with the times you've been posting. 
You did? I don't believe it. I mean, I do, but I sure wasn't expecting it. I appreciate it. I really do. Now I can take my bike to the big races. There's not much of a circuit right now, but I'll be ready when it recovers. Hard to tell. I'll get some more runs here first. I need the practice. I have to top your time. Thanks again. I meant it. Muchas gracias. Qui est non non dans ma paule Rachikun. Kun de tiro tonga kun hanga. Wana kun des ching palamule tonking ba non non tek. Tuk nin chatu kun ne mule rabes. Ka chikun ida hotonga. I king kun o ba mule rachiku. Svimo podonar ne odunga kun kabe. Tolpa da pongwale gaduna gumu chuchut. Kaba dum ku pilio botenya. Bona nai kuchu. Awaga poska chokola. Mucha shag panga. Takum juz dach miki grabal mogo. Kachi ita hotunga.